now I want to talk about dining halls. The best ones, in my opinion, are Weinstein, because Weinstein is Chick-fil-A, and Palladium, only because Palladium has a lot of options. There's this dining hall option thing called 18 Below, and it's in the Torch Club at NYU. There's a building on Waverly called the Torch Club, and it's a really nice looking building. Um, so all you have to do is walk in the building, go downstairs. There is a catch though. It's only open for lunch on Monday through Fridays from 11.30 to 2.30. It might not always be convenient for you with your class schedule to go there, like it's not convenient for most NYU students, but if a class ever gets canceled or if you find yourself not knowing what to do during that time period, definitely check out the Torch Club. It's a really good dining option and my favorite by far. So now I want to talk about Welcome Week. Freshmen get to move in a week earlier than everyone else. Welcome Week has something like over 500 events that you can go to to help you learn more about NYU and get adjusted better. Uh, I personally did not go to any of the Welcome Week activities, which I probably should have. I think I only went to one, and it was because my RA was there, and I love her. And you might not even feel like you have to go, because you might be like, oh, I have my solid group of friends. Even if you think you have a really solid group of friends already, like during the first two days, I would still highly suggest going to the Welcome Week activities. It really can't hurt and I mean if anything you have to get out of bed a little earlier than you would meeting everyone you can possibly meet is like my biggest advice for people who go to NYU NYU events are usually sort of boring because they're NYU events but NYU does some pretty cool stuff sometimes like I remember last year I went to a Gunna concert and it was NYU affiliated and speaking of celebrities if you're going to any school in New York City, you're bound to see some celebrities. But I've seen what Sheck West, Frankie Grande, which is Ariana Grande's brother. He was on Big Brother, if any of you watch that. I saw Nikita Dragon at Cafeteria, which is a restaurant in Chelsea. I see Alec Baldwin like all the time because his apartment building is literally right across from Britney Hall. Like you're walking the streets with celebrities every single day. living in the middle of the city, so safety should be your number one priority at all times. I usually carry around mace with me wherever I go, but mostly just be aware. You know, like you can wear your earbuds, you can talk to your friends when you walk, but look around, make sure that no one creepy is, you know, coming up behind you. If you're aware and you act like you're aware, you're gonna be fine. Watch out for cars, definitely, but the main mode of transportation that you really have to be wary of and make sure that you don't get run over by are the bikers. I think just the last thing I'm gonna say regarding safety, you can totally go places alone. Like, you can walk to your classes alone. You can, you know, walk to your local CVS to pick up some eye drops by yourself. I would definitely say the times where you don't wanna be alone is past like maybe like midnight or one. And even before that, if you're gonna walk a far distance by yourself. If you have the opportunity to not walk alone, don't walk alone. Specifically, don't be alone past like 10 p.m. in Union Square and do not be alone past midnight in Washington Square. There are people who will creep on you in Washington Square. It's very scary, so my advice is don't go walking in Washington Square by yourself past a certain time. I found myself last year walking by myself in Union Square around midnight. I should not have been walking by myself. I should have gotten an Uber. I should have called NYU Safety. Yeah, it's not fun. If you do find yourself at a like another dorm, for instance, let's say, and let's say it's really late and you don't know how to get home and you don't want to spend on an Uber and you don't want to walk, um, call NYU Safety. The one thing I will say about NYU Safety is um, it's not as quick as NYU makes it out to be. Like, I once had to wait 30 minutes for my NYU safety ride. I'm just exposing you to the reality of NYU safety. That's not saying don't use it. If you have no other option on how to get home, use NYU safety. Also another thing, if drinking is your thing, don't get drunk and then get home by yourself. Make sure someone is with you when you go home. And this is for like anyone during any college experience. If you decide to get wasted at a bar, don't walk home alone. And if you are with a friend who is really incapacitated and who you know should not be going home by themselves, don't let them go home by themselves. Like why would you just watch your friend leave when you know that she could possibly be in danger while you stay and like have a good time? Speaking of going out into the city, I really wanna talk about spending. 
pretty expensive school. You're in New York to experience the city. You're in New York to have fun. You're in New York to go to dinner. You're in New York to experience culture and try all of the different foods that NYC has to offer. But mostly you're in New York City to learn and to study. So just keep that in mind. You're totally, no one is saying that you aren't allowed to go out and eat dinner or eat lunch or splurge a little on yourself. But my advice is to keep a budget. I'm gonna be really honest, I didn't use the dining hall options a lot my freshman year. Uh, so my advice to you would be, if you're going to any school in New York, if you're going to any college at all, make a budget for yourself, a week by week budget. I know it seems really meticulous, but every Sunday I would sort of sit down at my desk and make a little budget plan about how much I wanted to spend per week. I personally would not recommend getting a job freshman year because I tried that. I got a job at Aldo my freshman year and it was really overwhelming. So I ended up quitting um, after like the first few months because I didn't know what to do. I had all of these essays to write. So I would suggest freshman year you sort of figure things out instead of trying to hustle and find a job. Save that for your later college years. Another tip that I have for you on spending is walk. Walk everywhere. The subway is really disgusting, but you don't, you know, it doesn't cost that much. So if you can take the subway over like an Uber, do it. But the better option, if you can walk over taking the subway or taking an Uber, walk. New York has some of the best thrift stores in the country. Um, so go thrift shopping. Be careful though, some thrift stores will try to sell you things for way above their price range. Some of the good chain ones that I love are Crossroads and Buffalo Exchange, but just make sure you're not getting duped and you'll be fine. Thrift stores are a really good option for um, saving money. Now I wanna talk about etiquette. to people who go to NYU. This applies to anyone who is thinking about visiting or living in New York City. Please don't take up the whole sidewalk. Please don't stop in the middle of the sidewalk. Please keep up the pace with everyone else who is walking with you on the sidewalk. And please don't elevator up to the second or third floor unless you have to. Like if you're in six inch heels or if you, uh, God forbid, are physically incapacitated and cannot walk up the stairs, Elevator to the second level, no one is judging you. Uh, my general rule of thumb with elevator etiquette is you can elevator up to the third floor or over and you can elevator down from the fourth floor or above. Also, wait for people to walk out of the elevator before you walk in. It's the same thing for subways. Another random tip, always remember your NYU ID. You need it for everything. You need it for meal swipes, you need it to get into your buildings, uh, you might keep your keys along with it. So now I wanna talk about some language. Um, at NYU, like I said, you meet people from every single walk of life. So expect to hear things that you've never heard before. I didn't know what wig meant until I met someone from LA. I didn't know what kill meant until I met someone from DC. And don't be afraid to ask. People love being asked about their cultures and their ways of life. People in general love to be asked questions about themselves. So if you don't, if someone says something weird and you don't know what it means, uh, feel free to ask. No one considers that rude. Along with that, I think a really good tip that most people here, but it doesn't really register, is be yourself. Don't pretend to be someone you're not. NYU sort of provides an environment where you feel like you have to be rich and bougie and you have to go eat out like every single day and go to all of these extravagant clubs and parties and pay all of this money to have a good time. New York is uh, definitely a place to find yourself, but don't fake it. People can see right through that, especially people in New York. It's okay if you wanna say no to a party or if you wanna stay indoors sometimes. No one will judge you for not going out on a Saturday because you're tired. New York is a really draining place and if you don't feel like going out, no one will judge you. But if you are a going out person like I am, there is no better place than the city to do just that. I want to talk about pronunciation. I remember last year I read this from an NYU local blog. Uh, the article was by Sarah Shattuck, I think her last name is pronounced, and she had this whole section of how to pronounce certain things. So this is me telling you right now to go read the article because it's very funny and has a lot of good tips, but if you want the really quick version, here it is. It's not Bobst, it's Bobst. It's not Houston, it's not, we're not in Texas, it's Houston, it's not Greenwich, it's Greenwich, it's not Cass, it's C-A-S. So for those of you who don't know, Bobst is the NYU library, Greenwich is the place where we live, Greenwich Village, C-A-S is the College of Arts and Sciences at NYU, and Houston Street is an east-west thoroughfare uh, in downtown Manhattan. So just keep that in mind, pronounce things correctly. <laughs> I wanna talk about fashion for a second. You can wear sweatpants to class if you really wanna, but you will get looks. Uh, and I'm sorry, like I, I feel like I'm making NYU sound like a lot, like a, a more judgier place than it is, but 
people rarely wear sweatpants to class. I know my go-to outfit during the summer is usually jeans and a nice top. My go-to outfit in the fall or winter is usually boots of some sort, jeans, a nice top, and like a sweater. You don't have to wear Givenchy dresses to class. All I'm saying is that try to look at least semi-presentable. Uh, so after that very lengthy video, I think that is pretty much everything that I have to say. I just really want to close off with this. I would personally recommend visiting and spending extensive time in the city before you attend NYU just to make sure that you fit in with city life and that it's okay for you and it won't overwhelm you. I know personally I really enjoyed NYU a lot better second semester than I did first semester and that is partially to do with the people I hung out with and um, getting more adjusted and acquainted with the city. Make sure that you're ready to jump into a very adult way of living. But yeah, overall, I love NYU and I can't wait to spend the next three years of my life there. Um, it's given me all of the opportunities I could ever hope for. It's allowed me to meet some of the best people I've ever met and yes. And I can't wait to go back so that I can show you guys from my perspective how much I love uh, the school that I go to. You know, every school has its quirks and every school has its downfalls and every school has its upsides. I personally think that NYU has a lot more positives than it does negatives. So thank you guys for watching and I hope this video was helpful for you. Bye.